The Houston Film Commission has a big budget, more than a million dollars a year in public money to help lure movie and television productions to Houston. Last night, Channel 2 Investigates uncovered the commission's less than award-winning results since positioning a Houston employee in Hollywood in 2015. Her name is Sharon Adams. She's being paid more than $174,000 a year for that job, but she's not the only well-paid public official on the payroll. Investigator Mario Diaz reveals another big salary and how the numbers compare to other more successful commissions. I've got fire for a heart. The band One Direction's 2015 video shoot at NASA is one production the Houston Film Commission highlights on its filmography page. When no one else was ever behind me. The commission in an orbit of its own when it comes to staff size. Its cast is larger than every other big city film commission in Texas. San Antonio Film Commissioner Crystal Jones was surprised to learn its size. I have five people? Oh my. Jones and one other colleague make up San Antonio's team. And unlike Houston, they do not have the luxury of a Los Angeles-based representative like Sharon Adams. The Houston Film Commission is a division of the Houston First Corporation, which uses public dollars from the city's hotel tax to fund Adams' $174,000 a year salary. But during her tenure, which began in late 2015, the commission has not landed a single big budget movie or television project for Houston secured by Adams. We're hoping to ask you a few questions if you don't mind, since there is some time now available, please. I actually don't have that amount of time. Rick Ferguson is the commission's executive director. He's also Adams' boss. He makes more than $177,000 a year. Ferguson and Adams' publicly funded salaries are significantly higher than film commission directors across Texas. In fact, more than $100,000 higher than Austin. Nationwide, aside from New York City, their salaries are higher than directors in other major U.S. cities Channel 2 Investigates contacted. Our findings show significant differences in some cases. The mayor's office for the city of Los Angeles tells Channel 2 Investigates its film division is under the direction of the Board of Public Works president. And that individual makes approximately $20,000 less than Adams. As for the State of California Film Commission director, they make approximately $42,000 less than Adams. And they also live right here in LA. I don't even know how to respond. It, it's, um, it definitely raises more questions than answers. Council member Stardig also questions Adams' credentials in the film industry. I'm not aware of any expertise that she has. Now, as we reported last night, Adams not only makes her big salary, but she also gets reimbursed for meals and travel. How much? Well, I just happen to have her Houston First American Express card statements right here. And there are some uh, questionable expenditures that we asked Houston First about nearly three weeks ago. They have yet to answer. Dominique Bill, I'll show you some of these uh, costly purchases tomorrow night. Can you give us a little hint tonight? Right there, how's that? $2,626 for an airline ticket from L.A. to New York City. Well, mm, if well. it's not coach, it can cost that much, mm, right? Yeah. We'll see. Yep. So in one of your stories, you showed the, the new CEO of Houston First, Brenda Bazan, mm -hmm. talking about she was going to be transparent. That was going to be a big priority, right. transparency. When you asked her for an interview for this story, she said, I'll talk to you at the end of May, right. knowing that this would all be over by then. Uh, has this been moved up at all? Uh, nothing has changed, mm -hmm. and we indeed look forward to her uh, leadership pledge of transparency when we sit down with her at the end of the month. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mario. Thank you very right. much, Mario. Yeah.